good people, welcome to another episode of Unfinished. My name is SK Gitonga and today we are talking about weather and climate change. So weather is the atmospheric condition of a specific place, while climate refers to the weather of a specific place uh, averaged over a long period of time. Last year in Kenya, uh, we had an African Climate Summit event, which was at the KICC, championed by our president, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto. And um, it was all about talking about how to uh, improve the climate, which takes us to our first question. What do you think are the core factors that lead to the worsening of the climate? Let me know what you think in the comments section. We have uh, so much uh, done felling of trees, we have encroached on riparian areas, we have encroached on forests. So basically it means that it is human the human activities uh, which have degraded the, in the environment. I think the main factor we will say is global warming uh, because I believe uh, we have, we as a people, we have neglected uh, the environment for the, long, long, the longest period of time. We have been polluting the environment, we are not recycling, and we are doing a lot of harm to the environment. And now the earth has to fight back. And uh, because of that, we are having um, some of the, the rain that is coming right now. It's quite a heavy, it's quite a lot than we, we, we expected, um, that the meteorological department have told us that the rain will be. So now we have a lot of rain for and I, I believe the government is trying its best to to mitigate that. But uh, yeah. it's because of uh, human activities, such as uh, farming, deforestation. Yeah. Basically, people, uh, especially in rural areas, yeah, they, 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 they cut down trees in the Osa, Wapate place, Wana. When they farming, yeah. So in that process, we are katakata miti pale ina ina little to cure climate change. Evil. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, but it makes sense. Maybe people have done a lot of evil. Okay, maybe God wants to bless the the world. Yeah, but I don't want to think about evil right now. I don't want to cry it to me. So, yeah, I think it's blessings. Yeah, rains are blessings. We have shortage, shortage of uh, trees in the country. Yeah, that you know, cost some. Also, when you cut down the trees, for example, you may cut a meat, isn't it? So, you can go dry your place. Then, when it rains, up and go mad, isn't it? First, I think the drainage. Eh, Gava kuna venye melegeza design ya drainage. Hakuna drainage na farm zenye ziko aziezi maintain ku hold. Yaani azizui ya flood. The climate we cannot control because it is from the creator and uh, uh, one of the things uh, that uh, uh, I can say is that uh, just about the the raging waters is because uh, of poor drainage in most of the areas where you find uh, even the, the cul culverts were blocked. That can be something that contributes to flooding of uh, some, in fact, most areas, more so around uh, the capital. The artificial activities, I'm thinking maybe what Dubai did could have uh, affected us directly. And again, uh, that we were not prepared for such events of weather. So I think nee, that's the cause. Global warming, mostly, we can depend on that since the floods and the rising tides in the ocean due to the global warming, the icebergs are falling. We can cause to that. Flood is not a problem. It's a on the seasons. So, this season, to say me, mufu and you inanyesha sana kuliko season zingine, sendeo. So, na isa say me, this season, si jin tayek aje, but uh, to say me, this season imeanza tu mapema, na yeah, kakuwa tu mingi. 
Lake Nairobi sio kawaya sana but when you talk outside the western huko tuko na kitu kama po infrastructures so mvua kidogo yenye ilikuwa inatokea unapati imeangusha walls manyumba so unaweza jiuliza maybe hii inaweza kuwa controls vipi na along kwa barabara hizi eh, mitaro zenye zilichimbwa kutolewa ni takataka uchafu mingi jua zinajara kama maji kidogo then hiyo maji inakuwa flooded kwa barabara so maybe kama wanaweza organize vikuwe cleaned so ma, that maji inaweza kuwa passed kwa haraka to the nearest river hiyo inaweza saidia i feel like we are also to contribute to why we have so many floods tunafa to okay let's let's go back to god okay otherwise apart from that also bad drainage uh, pollution i feel like pollution bad drainage the people yeah and i feel like we just need to be educated on how to keep the environment better because everything comes because of the environment the reason why the environment is deteriorating to us is because we are not being good to the environment no, no. the more you pollute ndio nafanya drainage kwa mbaya the more na cut a miti that's why mnafanya to square na enough like tree coverage because if we had more trees we wouldn't have a lot of floods because of the trees carry the water and stuff so yeah global warming yeah most probably i think linaweza kuwa maybe nafanya kuwa na a lot of floods i would categorize into three first human activities such as improper land use improper environmental conservation and when i believe improper land use i mean people staying in riparian areas that are known to be you know set aside for only rivers and they dump things there like plastics that would affect marine life and then again cutting down trees that would lead to a very big menace in the near future and then again i believe a major contributor to climate change is the lack of awareness and education if you ask anybody in the streets they would tell you they don't know what climate change is so the fight against climate change is still uh, amongst the elite the elite in the society the people who knows what climate change is the rest do not know you go and ask mama mboga what climate change is they wouldn't tell you they can't even relate that you know it's because of climate change that we are experiencing a lot of rain that is damaging our roads for them if the road is damaged they blame the contractor yet they don't know that in one way or another they themselves are contributing to that climate change you know by using uh, fossil fuels by using plastics yeah so those are some of the reasons that are contributing to climate change so i believe to combat this there is need to raise awareness and by raising awareness i mean doing campaigns telling us what climate change is in terms that we can best understand among the factors that cause uh, climate change could be one of them is littering which makes the drainage systems less effective then we also have um cutting down of trees because in a, in a case where we had so many trees they would be able to hold down the soil and also we have uh, global warming due to the greenhouses and um, also a lot of industries being in one place which takes us to our second question How should one prepare in case of a natural disaster just like floods? Let me know what you think in the comment section. For natural disasters we can uh, we can uh, uh, live in uh, uh, places that are a bit traced so that we we do not encounter encounter the problem with the floods. And also be cautious about the rains because we don't know the extent with which we can be affected by the rains. Una make sure place place una issues you know that si karibu na mito ama si karibu na place yetu nyeta safectwa na na maji kinyesha avoid everywhere that is flooded uh, if you see the road is too flooded but you're used to the road kindly avoid it najua it seems like ni the shortcut lakini utakufa utakufa vibaya utakufa vibaya yeah i feel like yeah just avoid avoid anywhere with floods and yeah just keep safe just carry your safety kit with you uh, maybe the the jackets the life saving jackets uh, be warm at night also when you wherever you are you make sure you have warm clothing with you uh, of course drink up drink hot things that will keep you warm 
and generally be on the lookout. Avoid areas that you're seeing are flooded or what has been forecasted. You look at what has been forecasted and act accordingly. Maybe I like visit na stay along river Ndoya, so you can move some distance far. You, your magic is quite flooded with your river. It either affect almost from Kandoya, okay? it either move almost 100 meters away. And up on the distance, Kubwa Sana, so to either move into the nearest town. Um, come to Kona Shamba, maybe, but from Karibu Kandoya River, but in Bari Kidogo. Neither move, not settle upheaval for the time being. You if lads I do the predict it as Gani. But change my jua, we shall in the Haraka any time from now. That's a bit tricky, oh my god. Because um okay, how can you keep safe from the flood? I believe early warnings like what happened when Cyclone Hidaya was supposed to hit the Kenyan coast is a plus. Warn the one inch early enough, tell them that there is a possibility of a flood so that they can move to higher grounds. A flood is something that would come in a minute. If you're not prepared enough, it will take you down and you cannot fight water. You cannot fight water. I suggest if there is a possibility of flooding, move to higher grounds and you secure your life. Your life is more important than your house. You can rebuild a house, but you cannot buy life again. Mtone is prepared Willi Kapsa Vizuri aki akiangalia kama kuna jambo ambalo linasababisha mafuriko kama kwa sana za mafuriko mtu asikimbilie kuingia kwa maji ni kama kuona moto alafu mtu anakimbilia ndani ya moto so nafikiria kama kwa sasa hivi venye maji yako mengi watu angalie zai, sana zaidi ya vile kunavyo kuangalia hizi hizi ajali ama mambo ya kuingia ndani ya maji kufuata mafuriko na kwa hizo for those people who reside uh, beside uh, dams and rivers to seek uh, alternative safe places yeah, to avoid uh, death. Should use uh, weather forecasting in online weather forecasting features. Tukayo, li ukuna jua, kama kutakuwa na floods, kama kutakuwa na, I mean, heavy downpour at least, na jua venye uneza ji keep safe, nona. maybe you stay at home. Come as key to see your agent. Avoid area eco chini. Riparian lands avoid. Na uh, atrai kuka place eco ju. Mostly due to the floods, they should avoid lower areas, close to river banks. People are recommended to go up. Kama juzi kule kwa na madzle, dili kwa juzi ya madjana. Apo unja ya udhiru. So maybe... We avoid to at a uni self explore ama kutumia tu akili. Si kitu yenye mtu anafaa kuambiwa kila saa. Sema mali unaenda kuna kuna mali unajua place yenye unapitia kuna nyesha sana ama kuna rivers zinapita maji mengi ya una una una, una nini tu unaongea na watu wenye unafanya kazi na wao una unapata hofu kidogo tu ya in uh, disaster preparedness, uh, you must always take caution uh, by avoiding uh, flash floods. Don't try to cross uh, uh, where the water is above your knees. Uh. The best thing is to keep off. Go back where you are coming from. Uh, the floods will recede and then you can start your journey once the water has receded. But the moment you try to be a hero, hmm, uh, the water between you and the water will know who is a hero. Yes. So people are a bit careless. Some of the things I feel like you could do to be safe in this kind of condition is, um, first of all, if you are living near a drainage system, a dam, or, you know, anywhere that pr water is probably able to get to a higher place, you could move. Um, also make sure you do not step into floody waters, do not swim, do not drive, do not get anywhere close to such waters. Um, also, you could be updated, keep on checking on the online platforms to see which areas have been affected. Also, the government could um, help us to know prior if uh, these kind of things are going to happen. Let's take a short break, we'll be back with two more questions. <laughs>